Patty Morin Hurler. Patrick Patty Morin, born 1939, is an Irish retired hurler who played as a midfielder for the Kilkenny senior team. Born in Bennett's Bridge, County Kilkenny, Morin first played competitive hurling during his schooling at St. Kieran's College. He arrived on the inter-county scene at the age of 16 when he first linked up with the Kilkenny minor team. He made his senior debut during the 1961 championship. Morin subsequently became a regular member of the starting 15 and won four All-Ireland medals, five Leinster medals, and one National Hurling League medal. He was an All-Ireland runner-up on three occasions. As a member of the Leinster Interprovincial team, on a number of occasions Morin won three Railway Cup medals. At club level he is an eight-time championship medalist with Bennett's Bridge. Throughout his career Morin made 26 championship appearances. He retired from inter-county hurling following the conclusion of the 1972 championship. Playing career Club Club Morin was still eligible for the minor grade when he made his senior debut with the Bennett's Bridge senior team in 1956. He was at right wing back as the bridge faced John Locks in the championship decider. John Locks had a goal disallowed by an umpire, a factor which contributed to a 2 minus 8 to 3 minus 3 victory for Bennett's Bridge. It was Morin's first championship medal. After failing to retain their title, Bennett's Bridge qualified for the county decider again in 1959. A 4 6 to 1 4 defeat of Aaron's own gave Morin a second championship medal. Bennett's Bridge retained the championship in 1960, with Morin adding a third winner's medal to his collection following a narrow 4 5 to 3 4 defeat of Glenmore. Three in a row proved beyond the bridge, however, Morin lined out in a fourth county final in 1962. Listowney, who had recently earned promotion from the junior grade, provided the opposition. Goals were key as Bennett's bridge claimed a 5 minutes 7 to 2 minutes 8 victory. It was Morin's fourth championship medal. After surrendering their championship crown the following year, Bennett's Bridge bounced back to contest the decider again in 1964. On a day when five Treacy brothers lined out for the bridge, they recorded a 4 minus 9 to 1 minus 4 victory over Glenmore. It was Morin's fifth championship medal. Mooncoin ended hopes of retaining the title in 1965, as Morin suffered his first defeat in a county final. However, both sides renewed their rivalry in the 1966 decider. A double scores 4 minus 8 to 2 minus 4 victory avenged the previous year's defeat and gave Morin a sixth championship medal. Bennett's Bridge continued to dominate club hurling once again in 1967. A 3 minus 10 to 1 minus 4 defeat of Thomastown earned a seventh championship medal for Morin. A period of decline followed following defeat by Rower in Istioge in the 1968 decider, however. Bennett's Bridge returned to the summit of club hurling again in 1971. A 3 minutes 10 to 1 7 defeat of reigning champions, Fenians gave Morin his eighth and final championship medal. Morin continued to line out with Bennett's Bridge for the next few years, however. His side were defeated by Fenians in the finals of 1972 and 1974. Minor Morin was 16 year old when he was called up to the Kilkenny minor team in 1956. He won a Leinster medal that year following a 4 7 to 3 7 defeat of Wexford in the provincial decider. On 23 September 1956, Kilkenny faced Tipperary in the All Ireland final. A 4 16 to 1 5 trouncing, with teen sensation Jimmy Doyle contributing 2 minus 3, resulted in defeat for Morin and his side. The following year, Morin added a second Leinster medal to his collection, as Offaly were defeated by 5-10 to 4-2. For the second year in a row, Tipperary provided the opposition in the All-Ireland final on 1 September 1957. In a close game, Tipperary eventually triumphed by 4-7 to 3-7. Senior, er, er. Early success. 
Morin made his senior championship debut on 18 June 1961 in a 6 minutes 8 to 5 minutes 7 Leinster semi-final defeat by Wexford. After two years without success, Morin won his first Leinster medal following a 2-10-09 defeat of Dublin. This victory allowed Kilkenny to advance directly into an All-Ireland showdown with Waterford on 1 September 1963. The Cats entered the game as underdogs, however, Eddie Kerr proved to be the difference with a magnificent display in which he scored 14 points. Despite a hit trick of goals from Waterford's Seamus Power, Kilkenny secured a 4-17-6-8 victory. It was Moran's first All-Ireland medal. All-Ireland defeats Seats Moran added a second Leinster medal to his collection in 1964 as Dublin were defeated on a 4-11-1-8 score line. The All-Ireland final on 6 September 1964 saw Kilkenny enter the game as firm favorites against fierce rivals Tipperary. John Mackey McKenna scored Tipperary's first goal after 10 minutes as the Munster champions took a 1-8-0-6 interval lead. The second half saw Tipperary score goals for fun, with Donny Nealon getting a hat trick and Sean McLaughlin another. Kilkenny were humiliated at the full-time whistle as Tipperary triumphed by 5-13 to 2-8. In spite of this defeat, Moran's performances throughout the year earned him a Couchulane Award. After surrendering their provincial crown in 1965, Kilkenny bounced back the following year by reaching the final of the National Hurling League. An aggregate 10-15 to 2-15 defeat of New York gave Moran a league medal. He later won a third Leinster medal following a 1-15 to 2-6 defeat of Wexford. The subsequent All-Ireland final on 4 September 1966 pitted Kilkenny against Cork for the first time in 19 years. Kilkenny were the favorites, however, had trick of goals by Cone Sheehan gave Cork a merited 3-9 to 1-10 victory. There was some consolation before the end of the year, with Moran winning in Warwick's medal following a 4-7-1-7 victory over Wexford. Kilkenny Resurgence Moran collected a fourth Leinster medal in 1967, as Kilkenny retained their provincial crown following a 4-10-1-12 defeat of Wexford after a scare in the opening half. On 3 September 1967, Kilkenny faced Tipperary in the All-Ireland Decider. Tipperary looked like continuing their hoodoo over their near rivals as they took a 2-6-1-3 lead at halftime. Goalkeeper Ollie Walsh was the hero for Kilkenny, as he made a series of spectacular saves, however. The team lost Eddie Ketter and Tom Walsh to injury in the second half. In spite of this, Kilkenny laid to rest a bogey that Tipperary had over the team since 1922, and a 3-8-2-7 victory gave Carroll a second All-Ireland medal. He finished off the year by claiming a second Warwick's medal following a 4 minus 4 to one minus 8 defeat of Clare and a second Couchulain award. Wexford put an end to Kilkenny's hopes of retaining the title in 1968, however, the Northsiders bounced back the following year with Moran collecting a fifth Leinster medal following a 3-9-0-16 defeat of Offaly. On 7 September 1969, Kilkenny took on Cork in the All-Ireland Decider, however, Moran was dropped from the starting 15. The Leesiders got into their stride following an early goal by Charlie McCarthy and led by six points coming up. Kilkenny upped their performance after the interval and ran out winners on a 2-15-2-9 scoreline. The victory gave Moran, who came on as a substitute, a third All-Ireland medal. Cork and Kilkenny renewed their rivalry before the end of the year, however, a 4 minus 14 to 3 minus 10 victory gave Moran a third war matched his medal. Twilight success. After surrendering their provincial and all Ireland crowns to Wexford the following year, Moran remained dropped from the starting 15 in 1971. He was a non playing substitute as Kilkenny defeated Wexford by 6 minus 16 to 3 minus 16 to take the Leinster title once again. On 5 September 1971, Kilkenny faced Tipperary in the All-Ireland final, however, Moran still remained on the bench. He was eventually introduced as a substitute, however, 
Tipperary emerged the victors on a score line of 5-17 to 5-14. Moran played an increasingly peripheral role during 1972. Cork provided the opposition in the All-Ireland final on 3 September 1972, a game which is often considered to be one of the classic games of the modern era. Halfway through the second half, Cork were on form and stretched their lead to eight points. Kilkenny's great scoring threat, Eddie Kerr, was deployed closer to goal and finished the game with 2-9. A 15-point swing resulted in Kilkenny winning the game by 3-24 to 5-11. Moran, who started the game on the bench but was introduced as a substitute, won his fourth All-Ireland medal before bringing the curtain down on his inter-county career. Honours Player Bennett's Bridge Kilkenny Senior Hurling Championship 8, 1956, 1959, 1960, 1962, 1964, 1966, 1967, 1971 Kilkenny All-Ireland Leinster Senior Hurling Championship 7, 1963, 1964 1966, 1967, 1969, 1971 sub, 1972 sub, T2 sub. National Hurling League 1, 1965 minus 66. Warwatch's Tournament 3, 1966, 1967, 1969, 69. Leinster Minor Hurling Championship 2, 1956, 1957. Leinster Railway Cup 3, 1964, 1965, 1967. Equals equals references equals equals equals.